Hi guys, my name is Maria and welcome back to my channel. Uh, before I start, I just want to say that I hope everybody are okay and uh, safe. So stay home and keep safe guys. Um, that's the best thing we can do is to pray uh, about whatever uh, situation we have right now. <music> So today, I just want to answer uh, one comment from Mr. Anesh Tapia. He commented that he's asking about how to track a document files in a document uh, filing box. So because he's saying that um, there are so many um, papers inside the box no? and a lot of department. So welcome to the world of DC Mr. Anesh and I hope I could answer your question very well. So in um, in filing a document uh, usually for me right now I'm using this kind of box file. So here if you open oh wait lang <laughs> if you open you need to push it in the right side and I cannot open <laughs> Okay, push it a little bit side and when you open, there is here, you see this guys, okay. So no need to put the, use the puncher, just I put it here like this, okay. This is like this, okay. I use this one because for me, this is very uh, comfortable in my side. So I really requested this kind of filing box because, um, Usually, uh, we are using the puncher, right, in uh, filing a document. So, it's very hard because uh, other documents are big files. Other documents are in blue file. So, you cannot punch it, right? You cannot uh, put it in the filing box. So, better uh, use as much as possible like this. But, it is up to you guys, whatever uh, makes you comfortable. So, how I track my documents, uh, for example, I will file a material submittal. So, in the material submittal, we have a lot of disciplines, no? We have civil, architectural, electrical, um, mechanical, we also have landscape, and sometimes we have like coordination or something. So, from here, for example, this is my filing box, okay? And here... This is the one I put the label. I'm printing the label here. And in the label, for example, I want to show you. For example, in the label, you need to put the uh, logo, for example. In the for example, this is the sticker that you make. So in the sticker, you need to put the logo of the project. And then here you need to put the um what is the name of the project okay for example this is the name of the project okay and below that one i'm putting here what is this file number so if this is for example see this guy sorry so for example this is file number one okay this is file number one so in the sticker also you need to put here what kind of documents is inside for example uh this is material submittal then uh which discipline is this for example, this is material submittal for Seabill. So you will write in the sticker, uh, material submittal, material submittal under Seabill, okay? So, in the Seabill, they are submitting a lot of documents. So if this is your first file, downside, you will write here, for example, what is the reference for example, this is start with 001, okay, and 010, 010. So meaning, inside this box, there are 10 kind, there are 10 submittals inside, okay, from 001 and 010. So once this box is full, so you need again to do the second box. So second box will be file number 2, you will write in your sticker, file number two and again the reference number so if file number two if the first box is up to 10 so you will write here 0 1 0 0 11 to for example 0 20 so that's it 
and same as like other discipline if this is materials and metal for civil then materials and metal for architectural then it will be a separate 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 discipline and the file number should have one two three four five six seven as per what is inside the box so what is the advantage what is the advantage of having the file number because when you put it in your filing cabinet you will arrange it by serial number by file number so it's easy for you to track uh, for uh, what number you are searching for for example you go on your archive room and you are searching for a material submittal number 10 you know where is it because there is a file reference number on the downside and a file number of the box so um, so how you will track for example there is a lot of documents in the archive room and how you will track it very easy uh, if you are searching for example one documents and for example you already have file number 20 or something so in your lab just put something like remarks there that for example um, material submittal 1 to 10 is in the box number 1 under materials and metal like this just put a little bit remarks just is for you to easily track where you can find and the documents that you are searching and it makes and it will be a uh, better and easier for you to track it in the archive room so that's it that's just uh, how I do my filing how I make it easier for my life and uh, because every day there's a really a lot of documents so I hope that I answer you well and same as like this you will do this on the other uh, submittals other submittals will do the same so it's easily for you and you will just put it in your uh, in your tracking log of how many um, which number um, uh, which submittals uh, which filing box sorry <laughs> which filing box inside in one box file so I hope that I answer you well and if you have any questions regarding the document control, controller work as long as I can answer it just uh, uh, put in your comments in the comment box below. Thank you guys! Until next time!